Okay, so I'm here at ICOM HQ in Herne Bay in Kent and here to show you the M506 with AIS receiver. Um, how to make a DSC call on the M506 from selecting a vessel on screen and also give you a sneak preview of the CB2000 AIS transponder unit that upgrades the radio to an AIS transponder. Uh, so the AIS receiver of the M506 can be displayed either by pressing here and get it on screen alongside your channel or you can go in via the menu and select AIS and get it full screen. You can zoom in and out from about an eighth of a mile up to 24 nautical miles and the left and right characters will select the vessels on screen which will match up to the vessels on screen of marine traffic here next to us. Um, if you want to see the information that that vessel is transmitting you can press info and it will display you several pages of information that that vessel is transmitting to you. At any point, if you want to make a direct DSC call to that vessel, you don't need to type in any MMSI numbers. All you need to do is press DSC, select the channel that you want to talk to them on, and once you've selected a channel to speak to them, you press enter. Your direct routine call is now set up, and all you need to do is press call. Now the difference with this M506 to any other that we've uh, previously sold is this one is connected to a CB2000 which is an AIS transponder. So we're not just receiving AIS on this particular unit, this unit is connected via the NMEA2000 backbone to an NMEA2000 GPS and the CB2000 AIS transponder unit. Um, so what you can see on marine traffic here is ICOM HQ actually transponding its position and letting everyone know that we are here. So here we have the CB2000 Class B AIS transponder uh, black box device. Comes with its own enemy A2000 backbone in the box if you haven't got one on board uh, all you need to do is connect it up to an enemy A2000 GPS uh, and via the enemy A2000 backbone into your compatible radio either the M506 or the M605 to upgrade your radio to a full class B transponder so the CB2000 has three connections that you'll see. It's self-powered from the NMEA2000 network. So the first connection is straight into the NMEA2000 backbone. The second connection is a USB connection which will connect it to your computer um, and from that you can set up all your MMSI numbers, your vessel information and everything that you're going to be transponding. That comes complete with the software and that's the USB lead. The third connection here is for your antenna. So you just need a standard VHF antenna connected to the CB2000. You can use an, uh, an antenna splitter uh, but you'll need an active splitter for that. Um, the best installation if you can is to have two antennas, one for the transponder and one for your radio. The CB2000 is a brand new um, product from ICOM UK and available packaged together with the M506 and it can also be used with the M605.